Hey, what's going on, y'all? I just want to do a quick video. Uh, actually, been meaning to do this video for a while now. Uh, one of our very own friends on YouTube, uh, Rio. Uh, you probably know her by Insatiable Rio. Um, I think she has another page called Radiant Rio, but she has been uh fighting a, a case of bullying that's been going on at her daughter's school, and it involves her daughter and other students at um, STEM High School in St. Louis, uh, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, yeah, she's been trying to bring awareness and um, she's actually uh, planning a protest that's coming up pretty soon. And uh, yeah, she's been trying to uh, fight this school and, you know, because they didn't handle it uh properly and they actually banned her from the school because she was actually getting involved in trying to do something about the problem but i just want to play this quick clip that she had with the news uh there in st louis they are trying to restrict me and bully me in a way to keep me from speaking out on what has actually been happening. Del Rio Swink Lee says she was shocked as she read this hand-delivered letter. For them to ban me from the school with no reason is totally unacceptable and is very hurtful. That letter prohibits Lee from stepping foot on Gateway STEM High School's property, claiming Lee used profane language against school administrators. Everything that I've said to the Dean of Students has been mostly through emails outside of that very first conversation. This ban comes four days after Lee's daughter was suspended for getting involved in a fight with her bully. How can my child go to that school when her mother is banned? For them to ban me from the school for no reason, I actually feel like it's retaliation for me speaking out on what is actually happening with the bullying situations at Gateway STEM. News 4 has left multiple messages with the district. A spokesperson said she can't comment on this matter at this time. The last Friday, they claimed this was only an isolated incident. It's just not our girls, it's other girls too. Since our first report on September 28th, other parents have come forward who didn't want to be shown for fear of retaliation, but they say there is a bullying problem at the school. Something needs to be done. So yeah, uh, like I said, it's a bigger problem than uh, just the incident with her daughter, and uh, she's been speaking out about it, trying to bring light to the situation. Uh, as I said, she uh, has a protest that she planned that's coming up pretty soon. I'll probably uh, share a video on that as well, but I will leave her channel uh, link this in the description of this video and in in the comments of this video. So uh, yeah, go sub to her and and try to support her and bring awareness to this situation.